Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find it listed in the description box below. Um, our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, is on sale 35% off in the Etsy store. Check it out. That link is below. You can also find it on Amazon. Let's get into this, Capricorn. You have a burden at home. This could be a burden on your family. It could be a, a, some kind of a burden at home. You could be going through some marital crisis or you could be going through something. I feel like this might be, you know, if you live together, somebody's wanting you to take it to a higher level of commitment. They want you to open your heart to a commitment. They want, maybe they want children. Maybe this is, um, you know, there, I feel like there's some discord. There's some discord in the family, in, in the home. Give me all 12 signs starting with Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, um, a new passionate beginning has been a long time coming. So whether that's an idea or that's a new relationship or whatever the case may be, it's been a long time coming. If you're dealing with a Taurus, there's a, a arguing about or passionate, someone's passionately communicating about rebuilding something. So it's not necessarily an argument or a fight with this. I'm feeling it's more passion. Like there's just passion behind their, what they're trying to build or what they're trying to design or whatever this is, uh, moving forward here. Um, so they're very passionate about what they're wanting to do. If you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like Gemini may be moving houses. So the tower can represent moving a home. Um, so I feel like for them, they're taking that leap to move, to move homes. So they may be moving in with you or they may be, you may be moving in with them. Take it how it resonates with you. If you're dealing with a cancer, they're, ma they're manifesting closing a karmic cycle. They're manifesting, um, ending a cycle to start a new cycle. This is something has come full circle that somebody has manifested. Trust me when I say this new beginning coming in, first of all, if you're dealing with a cancer, you have the wand, you have the sword, you have the cup and the pinnacle. You have everything you could want or need to, to have a new beginning here. So when you manifested this closing of a cycle to start something new, you have every opportunity to do whatever it is you choose to do. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're wishing to wait. Their wish fulfillment is to wait. If you're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like they're having remorse for breaking someone's heart. If you're dealing with a Libra. Okay, Libra, you got something else going on here all, all together. You have a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. You have a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, both masculine energies, and somebody needs the strength needing strength to celebrate, needing strength to reconcile, reading, needing strength to, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. This is also wish fulfillment here. Or you could want both of them at the same time. I, you're on another level here um, with a Libra. Libra's got all kinds of things going on, okay? Um, Libra's being a little nasty, okay? I just feel like, <laughs> this person is there there's got they've got a few choices in the mix a few choices if you're dealing with if you're dealing with a scorpio i feel the wheels turning in your favor when it comes to you carrying the burden so if you 
if you have been taking on the lion's share of something, that will's turning in your favor where you'll be able to release those things. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone wants to protect or guard a, a partnership. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, somebody may be apologizing for being so impulsive. You know, with this, with this Knight of Wands, they rush in, they rush out. It's very quick movement. There are sometimes players, they're there for a good time, not a long time. They're just too, like, it's almost like they got ADHD. You know, they're just so hyper. They're here, they're there, they're everywhere, okay? And this person is going to apologize for being so impulsive or childish. Um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius... Somebody's daydreaming about their emperor. If you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody may be walking away from the pre-empress or walking away and to be single. You may be opening your heart to a commitment. There, says some kind of a burden, some kind of a trial. Okay. Guys, I feel like you don't know what you don't know until you move in with somebody. If you haven't lived with somebody, you're going to realize that's really hard. You'll, fi you'll figure out whether or not this is a good fit moving in together, right? Because you got to adjust to each other and each other's little qualms or whatever the case may be, because... You know, this is, this may be a trial, you know, a test run for you, because that's what I'm feeling like. That could be a burden. It could be a burden on this commitment. Somebody's got to open their heart. This is leveling up. This is definitely leveling up into a relationship where you're maybe moving in with one another for the first time. <laughs> okay. So Capricorn, this is major because you got four out of four major arcana, right? Temperance, emperor, the hermit, and the high priestess, right? It's almost like you got to be patient and take control of a situation. You're going to do a lot of soul searching about this, but you're going to keep your opinion to yourself. You're not going to, you're not going to spew it out of your mouth. Well, I don't like how you, you don't put the cap back on the toothbrush or you leave the toilet seat up or you leave your underwear on the floor. You know, I feel like for you, this is, <laughs> well, be patient. Have the strength to look at your own past mistakes. You may see something that just doesn't mean you have to bring it to their attention. You don't have to be so nitpicky. You don't have to be, I don't know if you remember the movie, maybe I'm dating myself as being an old person, but they used to be called the odd couple, okay? And they were two men that lived together. One was really clean and one was really anal, okay? And that's kind of what I'm seeing here. It's almost like you have to recognize this, you know, happy wife, happy life, right? This person fills all 10 cups for you. You want to be with this person, right? This person, you love them dearly. You want this to work. You want a victory in the situation, right? But you're having sleepless nights about it. All those arrows are things coming at you in your head. Oh, well, he didn't lower the toilet seat or, or, you know, he didn't put his plate in the sink or whatever. These are little minor shit that can be overcome. So, you know, it's almost like if you want this to work, you're going to have to meet somebody in the middle, you know, um, not be so nitpicky because, um, you're going to end up by yourself in an apartment and 29 cats. Okay. See, this is about you being back and forth, back and forth, back and forth about moving in together because you don't know what you don't know until you are there. Okay. This is your judgment. This is, this is what you think, right? Now you're at a crossroads thinking you want to hold back. You're going to communicate. It's going to be an emotional, heartfelt communication. And I feel like y'all can get through it. You're going, to re you're going to get through it. So I feel like, you know, don't create drama where there is none. Okay? Life is too short to be picky about the nonsense. Because 
you know, you either are going to say, hey, let's try to work on like keeping the house clean and doing things together. And, and um, instead of you having to do it all, if you're the female, because I feel like that's the case, you're the one who's picking up after somebody. Um, now it could be a masculine who is really, really anal and really, really clean. And you moved into his house and he doesn't like that you're messy. Um, you know, you have to have, have, just have a conversation. Honestly, I feel like it's about a conversation. This is, this is, yeah, because you're working on it, right? You didn't know. You didn't know it was hidden, right? So you're working on it. I didn't realize that I do these things. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. That's how you grow as a couple. You communicate with one another and not argue, not argue. Do I feel like you go, you may end up moving, someone may end up moving out because you're, you're like, you're, you got like the, the microphone, the, the, what is that? The, um, oh hell, I can't even think what it's called at the moment. You're putting, you're, uh, you're putting everything they're doing under a microscope. You got the magnifying glass in your hand and you're like looking for the germs, looking for the mistake, looking for things. This is going to cause this person to want to move out. It will. If you want this to work, then lighten up, lighten up. Um, I feel like there's going to be an argument and somebody may, may rush out. Now you're going to, you know, try to find some peace and balance here and look back at your past mistake. Somebody's been obsessed for a long time about a new beginning in love. They've wanted this. They could end up heartbroken because they're not communicating the truth. You got to make a decision here. You know, if you're going to get all huffy and puffy, illuminating equal give and take without drama. Okay. So if you're going to make a decision to communicate with one another, this is about building a relationship, guys. It really is. It really is because you're moving in with somebody and you love this person, but you don't like some of their behaviors. Okay. But nobody's perfect and neither are you. And there's got to be a meeting in the middle and you need to take the log out of your eye before you take the stick out of theirs. Okay. You know, the, sometimes when we point our finger at somebody, we have three people, three fingers pointing back at ourselves. So we're not perfect. Okay. So in this case, I feel like, um, this is about somebody moving in together, but having, um, like getting in arguments or having an attitude because this person, you know, doesn't, doesn't put the toilet seat down. It's their pet. It's being petty. It's being petty and it could cost you the relationship. So guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed week.